want to grow up fun toys for us kids. They got a million toys and toys for us that I can play with. Narcissistic bitch. Narcissistic bitch. Narcissistic bitch. Narcissistic bitch. Narcissistic bitch. Who's up, people? Sunshine. In the house. Been on a little hiatus. I came back, watched the videos. I've been watching them for a few weeks now, and kind of got me motivated to go out here and, and do a little something. Drum up some books, see what I can hunt. I heard a comment that was a little disheartening. It was, you know, hunting books yourself is a waste of time. Why do that shit when you can sit at home and be on eBay now? To each his own, and that's cool. It's not quite such a waste of time if you know what the fuck you're doing. I've never had a problem with speculation at all, right? But bad speculation, I do have a problem with. I don't like it. I didn't say I was the smartest person in the world. I just know my shit. So you can bear with me and fucking figure out what I'm trying to say here, but. I pose a question to everybody. At what point, when you've speculated on something for so long, as many people have, I'm not pointing one person out. I'll give an example. Rich will love this. Let's go with ROM Space Night. Because <laughs> that's my go-to on this shit. Like... Every three or four years, community, collectors, everybody gets a wild hair up their ass about wrong fucking space night. And that has happened. No shit. I can show you old magazines since the early 90s. Something, you know... Better go buy ROM number one, it's fixing to explode and it's gonna jizz all over your face. There's gonna be blood and fucking comic books everywhere. It's fucking and it hasn't been shit. It's steady, just stays in this little low realm of shit. To think that ROM Space Night, which hasn't done shit in all these years is going to do something suddenly and just explode all over my fucking asshole, it's not going to fucking happen. If you can't force demand on anybody, I don't give a fuck if Rom has a fucking Oscar winning movie, it has to be cool. Like, there's certain things that can drive a story and be cool, but it's not going to drive a franchise. It's never going to hit that level like Spider-Man, it's not going to hit the level like fucking X-Men. Wolverine, if you're not specking on Wolverine, you're fucking retarded. He's been relevant forever. So, my question to you is, what makes you think shit's gonna just flip and change to where Rom's gonna fucking matter? Rom or just anybody. We can, there's a whole list of them. Like you had, Venom is going, that book's going nowhere but up. SM300 is fucking, that's your next Hulk 181. Hulk 181 was undervalued for a long time. Everybody knew it was going to go up. The problem was, the market crashed at its time to peak. Now it's finally getting its time to shine. Now, had the market not crashed in the late 90s, early 2000s, that book would have been there. But, you know, supply and demand, you know what I'm saying? Now people are demanding the book, whereas the supply was... It's fucking common sense. Bad spec is bad spec. Like, if you want to really spec on something for a real future, basically the easiest way to do it is ask if your kids think they're cool. If your kids don't think they're cool, they're never going to be fucking cool. They're never going to fucking have a substantial key issue. 
mean, look at poor Thor. He's had over a thousand issues of his own fucking title and most famous fucking key issues. Goddamn. That Jar Jar Beats looking fucking thing with that thing, that fucking thing's name right now. Goddamn. Uh, shit happens. It's, it's not gonna, you can't force this shit on people. The movie specs are cool, but don't bank on them and consider them long term investments. Because some of these people are taking this shit to heart and they're blowing their life savings on this shit. On some shit that's not gonna pan out. I'm not, and I'm not saying all speculation, I'm talking about the bad speculation, just speculating for speculating's sake. Like, if you're gonna talk this talk, then you gotta know your shit. Some of y'all just don't know your shit. You can't jump in this shit read a couple articles and act like you're an expert on this shit. You just can't let people waste their money like that. You know what I'm saying? It's long and drawn out and way longer than it needed to be. And I have a whole lot to say, but just telling somebody you gotta get this basically making them feel like shit if they don't. It's like, you shouldn't have to have somebody tell you what to collect. That's all I got to say. Alright, for you guys that are keeping score, those of you that are keeping up, a lot of you know what this is, but for the new guys, we're just going to give a lesson, so it's what you call a used bookstore. Okay? It's not a comic bookstore. They don't have wall books, but they do have comics. What you do here is you pretty much have to know what you're looking for. You don't have to, you don't have to pull up an app. You don't have to pull up a website, look at a video, you don't have to have anybody tell you what to get, you just go in there, and you search through these boxes, right, there's no wall, and basically, you look for what you like, and why we do this, it's fun, it's really, it's actually fun, you know, but you have to know what you're looking for, you know, if, if you like Batman, you look at Batman, if you like Spider-Man, you look at Spider-Man, you know, you have, and you have to visualize in your head the books that you want. And then you never know. What's fun about it is you never know what you're going to find. You know, you, you're not looking for a specific speculation book. or There's a movie coming out for this character next week, so I got to get the book this week. You just go in there and you see what you... you just It's like a treasure hunt. You know what I'm saying? But it's fun. You, you guys... I promise. A lot of you guys, you know, you guys been with me for a while. You know what I'm talking about. It's fun, ain't it? Tell them. It's pretty late. Nothing like it. It's... Check it out. I mean, I recommend it highly. Those little boxes full of comics that are in your comic shop, you know, that aren't on the wall, those aren't just backstop for when a movie comes out. Those are Those are books. Uh, this place right here is random, totally random. So we're gonna check this out real quick. You know, maybe you'll like it. If not, maybe this ain't for you. But yeah, let's figure out what you like. Here we go. All right, got a lot of content to go through. Not a lot of time to do it. I had a dollar box, had 13 bucks I wanted. He gave them to me for 10 because first two books I found. Boom. Right there. That's them ones. That's them ones. Them Ronins. Dollar a piece. Fucking trippy, right? It's like a sign. I gotta tell you something else at the end of the video about that. Wolverine, you had that. One dollar. That Hulk was a dollar. This is another copy of this tray for Carnage. Dollar. Never had that. Marvel Edge. That's the Todd McFarlane cover. In absolutely beautiful condition. Which in a lead up to a historically beautiful day involving the Hush series. As you'll see. Or as you probably already know. Found two of these. Dollar a piece. The double feature. Variant kind of thing 
Du, 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 of the Marvel No Prize book. Additional bonus footage. Okay, so this book, I changed all the poly bags and all that bullshit on these books because like this one came from the flea market, right? Dollar book. But now it's beautiful. I can press it. Yeah, sunshine presses things, but see these waves in it? It's just, that's the only thing wrong with it. It's got waves in the cover. The waves come from these shitty waves in the poly bags. So, that's why I changed them all over to Mylar. It saves me from having to press every goddamn thing. Of course, I went to a comic shop the night I went to the used bookstore to get some bags. But they still had this on the shelf a week after it came out. They had one left, so I grabbed it. Did that for two bucks. To finish my Sin City run, The Dark Horse Presents, 5th Anniversary Special. Look at this thing. That's beautiful. Back issues from 90, 2017. I never even heard of that damn shit. But, see, the print run on the first issue is only six, only 6,800, I think. And I finally found one. I found the whole run, including the last issue. You know, if you find it for 50 cents a dollar, that little of a print run, it's in good shape. Wouldn't hurt to grab it. That's all I'm saying. It's just, oh, fuck, I'm gonna get off on a rant. I don't wanna do that. Heroic Age, Moon Knight. It's a J. Scott Campbell cover with Spider-Man. Also, that one is a David Finch cover with Spider-Man. Moon Knight with Shang-Chi. That's, you know, it's got a movie coming out, so whatever. Found this for 50 cents. I know that went up to like 20 bucks or something. 50 cents. You know, big fucking deal. Deadpool went away. That's like my fourth copy of that. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't even like Deadpool, but I found this. I thought it was pretty dope. It's on the off chance I ever see him. I've... The prices were a little wanky, you know, but whatever. And I found the Del Auto Moon Knight Punisher. I... Now, I've been wanting to go on there and find that fucking Thor book. And I've asked Richard about a hundred times, like, which fucking series is it? And I always get him messed up. It's like, God of Thunder, Mighty Thor, what the fuck is it? And I'm always looking at Mighty Thor. And then there's, like, the Unworthy. There's just... It confuses me because, you know, out of all of Thor's existence, he's only had one goddamn key issue in his whole life. And that's that little fucking Jar Jar Banks looking fucking guy with muscles. It's got a hammer, yeah. Whatever. But I found that. I just thought it looked cool. We got Galactus Silver Surfer Thor. Also, in other movie news, this was 90 cents, I think. That's a Delato. First Thunderbolt. Yeah. Dollar seventy-five. This one I got at the comic shop because Tito turned me on to it. He said, if you see it, you ever see it, pick it up. I picked it up. It's a sick cover. It's not a variant, but relatively rare along with two through six so I now have Black Panther one through six the J. Scott Campbell run now they had the entire run of Planet Hulk <sighs> I only bought this one but they had all the variants too including a very pricey one I'd rather not talk about it. And I left it there. Yeah. Well, I found some dope shit. Punisher Batman. The Pro. That was a dollar. Along with... The second print variant. These were three dollars. Collected Adventures Volume 1. And... That's the one with the Harley reprint. This one goes for like 60 bucks. 
dangerous dames and demons. It's not in as good a condition as my other one, as I'd like, but having the rarest Harley cover. Now, that is super dope. That is Dave Stevens. If you don't know who he is, better ask somebody. That's the Viking heroes. I'll tell you why this is cool. If I didn't see that already. This is a Dave Stevens cover, but it's also a collaboration cover with the King, Jack Kirby. So Jack Kirby, Dave Stevens, we're on the same cover. You know. Yeah. Found a couple of these. Now, owning more than one copy of one book does not make you a dealer or a seller. Not in my case. I do sell books, obviously, to pay for my fucking collection, because I also have a lot of fucking kids. I also have two of these. Why not? Found another one of these to go along with that one, just because I like having two copies of every old Harley book. Three copies, four copies, however the fuck many I own. Here's the bad part. Those animated books that you just saw, Batman Adventures, they had the entire run. I also got the Batman Robin Adventures 21 with Batgirl. I got a bunch more books. I'm not going to show them all. I found an Avenging Nine. Which other shit. I don't want this video to go on forever. But I know they had a Batman Adventures 12 and I missed it by about five minutes because I saw the guy grab it out of the run. for, And it was a dollar seventy five. But when that man grabbed it, he didn't bother to look at anything else. He grabbed that book, went straight to the register, and took the fuck off. I don't blame him. I don't. I'm kind of glad he did, because if he would have stayed for two more minutes, he would have scrolled through the box and not only found those Harley, the, the annual, and the Batman Robin Adventures 21 with the Batgirl cover, but he would have found this. So that's why it pays to just keep digging. Go look at, I don't know why this guy doesn't have more subs. Bad Dad. Just go check him out. He has every grail that you'd possibly want. Prom every fucking one of them. Does he see you see him? No. Does he, does he worry about the value? No. They're valuable to him because he's always had them. And the majority of collectors are like that. All these books I just got out of this came from a used bookstore. You know where the used bookstore got them? A guy that collected the runs. Once he got done collecting the runs, he brings all his single issues down to the used bookstore, regardless of value, gets trading credit, and buys them on trade paperback to save space in his house. I just don't want people giving bad advice or receiving bad advice. I've seen a lot of people in this community come and go. And some of it could be prevented by unnecessary bullshit. And don't buy things other people tell you to collect. If you don't like Rom Space Knight, don't go buy his first appearance. It's never going to be worth anything, and if it does, you're going to be dead before you ever see that value anyway, so fuck it. Just my little advice. I've been gone a while. I know you ain't got to listen to me. You might not know who the fuck I am. You might not care. I don't know shit. I'm going to do me and I'm going to keep finding books like that. Maybe I'll make another video. Maybe me and Tito do a live show. Get Richard's ass out of the fucking Ariana Tar Pits and we'll talk some shit. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, and I love that fucking guy. That's why I copy him. Nothing I can do. Later. Oh yeah, remember I told you I was going to tell you about these books at the end of the video. As proof that I don't hate speculators because y'all pay for my fucking collection. It's bad speculation I don't like before I get my words twisted. Because before I even got home yesterday, put these bitches on eBay because the trailer had came out. And everything... 
that you just saw that I got including that those paid for <laughs> I love you guys all my shit was free so that book's gonna be 50 cents in a year so fuck it <laughs> oh!